Automatic Annotation of Tasks in Structured Code is a paper accepted in PAC, PACT 2018. I'm Fernando and I shall present this paper to you. The goal of our work is to annotate C programs automatically with OpenMP directives. Here we are talking about OpenMP 4.5 which contains annotations to reveal task parallelism. That means that we shall be running multiple tasks in multiple processors. To achieve this end, we will be inserting annotations like parallel, task, single, and task weight in programs. As a byproduct of this paper, we have today a tool online, which you can use to annotate programs. It has a small window, which you can type, a program, after you tell Google that you are not a robot, you get the annotated program, which you can compile with GCC6, for instance, to run it in parallel. Annotations tell the compiler how the program should be parallelized. In this example, we are saying that the recursive calls to function fib recursive should run in parallel. Other annotations are used to avoid creating tasks that are too small. We also have annotations used to synchronize tasks. So what's the benefit of using the task miner? It's not really performance, because a human coder usually can do better than the task miner, although we do get speed ups. The main benefit of task miner is the boost in programmers' productivity. The tool has zero overhead. To use it, just press a button. Our technique embarrasses parallelism that otherwise would be hidden under the syntax of programs. We have applied this miner onto over 200 programs written in C, and we have been able to obtain speedups in some of them, even comparing against GCC-03. Task miner is more than simple engineering. To implement it, we had to overcome many challenges. We had to determine the symbolic bounds of memory regions, we also had to determine the profitability of tasks. And profitability is given in terms of the variables used in the program itself. We also had to find which variables are shared or private. In the paper, we have a detailed account on how we have overcome all these challenges. So, see you at PACT.